Billy Knapps could be Stephen Watts. since Herbert died, uh, was born, about 30 years since he died. A fortnight today is exactly 20 years since Mark Sebald died. Sebald was a close friend of mine. That's another reason I want to read today, because it's the nearest time I can read for it. I think I will fail badly because I have four and a half minutes left, and I love silence. <laughs> and I want to invoke silence for a few seconds. Shall I show you a photograph of her back? I hope you can see. And on the right is a drawing by a friend of his, an artist in the same asylum. Oswald Schaffner. In this book, which is dedicated to Herbert, there are essays by Ernest Biondo, Roger Cardinal, Gerhard Roth, three by Sebald, one by Leon Navratil, and two by Frederica Mayrak. He was liked by some good people, was Herbert. This is very briefly what Sebald said about him. In Schwindelgefühle, Sebald gives 15 pages to a visit he made from Vienna um, to where Herbert was living. And he says, I'm using some valuable seconds, but he didn't say that. He said, no. he, 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 he went to visit Herbert and they walked up to a cliff um, to Berg Griefenstein and um, while they looked across the river Sebald wrote this wonderful line that morning I think we were both within an inch of learning to fly or at least I might have managed as much as is required for a decent crash. <laughs> I think both of these are pretty decent crashes myself. Let me try and read a couple of poems of Herbeck's before I run out of time. In English, forgive me. I'm not just homesick, but even more. Homesickness is a torture out of place. The outwardness is unbearable. I want to go home. In autumn the wraith wind turns out, for in the snow horses' manes are colliding. Blackbirds pipe up a horde in the wind and feed. And then this from an essay that Sebal wrote in, collected in English in Campo Santo. Um, 
fan and snow the ice freezes. Blue, the red color, the yellow color, the dark green, the sky, Elena. And, save all rights, these words seem still to me to verge on the frontiers of a breathless other world. And he quotes Herbeck again and says, Herbeck's poems show us the world in reverse perspective. Surely reverse perspective is wonderful at this time, isn't it? When we're locked down in stupidity, everything is contained in a tiny circular image. Gazelles are famous historians. <laughs> Time has beaten me indeed. That sentence, gazelles are famous historians, is from Herbeck's brief treatise on what poetry is. And he says, gazelles are famous historians. Which I think it's a fantastic line to end on. And if I'd done this five minutes differently, I would have taken that line and exploded it and broken it down into phonemes and performed that line over five or ten minutes <laughs> in many registers. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.